Today we will be opening heavy first edition Labyrinth of Nightmare packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're gonna be opening heavy Labyrinth of Nightmare first edition packs as you just saw, as well as a Burst of Destiny booster box. Hopefully we can pull the Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. And also I will be doing a big giveaway today. We have Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm booster box will be given away to one of you guys. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite potential pull in the video. Could be Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, could be Starlight Stratos, could be anything from first edition Labyrinth of Nightmare. The box in the giveaway and the box that we'll be opening a burst of destiny was sent by maniac packs and as you guys know they have a website where you can buy booster boxes etc do pre-order so you guys can go check them out down below you can use code ruxin for 10 percent off on anything you buy now let's get into this opening we have a first edition burst of destiny box which is still a very hot commodity right now a pretty awesome set sword souls destroy phoenix enforcer starlight stratos other starlights as well i mean just very exciting so we have this we have five first edition these are heavy so they should all have foils ultra rare super rares etc also, before we get started, I wanted to mention on Monday, I will be opening an entire first edition case of Chaos Impact. If you don't know what that is, it has Starlight Rare Mascarena, which I will pop up the price on the screen. It's a big card, so we're going to be hunting for that live on Monday, so come hang out for the live stream. Now, let's get into the opening. We have Burst of Destiny first edition. Synchro Storm Booster Box giveaway, guys. Just make sure to enter that. The Lear List cards are pretty popular right now. We've got the Magic Cylinders. We've seen that in the uh, auction series site. So Net Cascade. We've got the Flounderies and the Magnificent Map. This is actually one of the best Ultra Rares in the set. It's, it was over like 12 bucks last time I checked, but it may be different now. Of course, pop the price up. All right, so good start to the opening. We've already gotten a good card. Next up, another Burst of Destiny. Good start. Nice Ultra Rare. Can we pull a Starlight? Can you imagine? Let's just do it like this. We have Sword Soul of Tot. Sword Soul, that's good. And then the Mimicking Man Eater Bug. Yeah, that card's annoying. All right, Royal Penguin. Very nice. Burst of Destiny again. Let's get ourselves something good. We've got the attack Apex Predator, the Reptile Line, the Rebuilder, Sonic Tracker, and the Sioux Ship Uniclass. Okay, we got a Sushi Ship, cool. In the next couple of packs, we're gonna go into our Labyrinth of Nightmare. Our first one, it's heavy, so hopefully something crazy like a Necrophere, Cyanite Crosswipe, Giant Starfall, Sword Soul Assessment, and the Ice Jade Cradle. Okay, not nothing too crazy there. Let's go into the first Labyrinth of Nightmare. The only thing I know that has been pulled from these heavy packs is Gemini Elf. So there's probably not a Gemini Elf in here. However, Dark Necrofear, all those other ultra rares. I think he said it, there was a super pulled as well. So the other five from the box. So we should potentially get two ultra rares if, if that holds up. So we have a Lightning Blade. Very nice. Garuda the Wind Spirit. The Emperor's Holiday. Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams, and this should be our foil, theoretically. What will it be? This monster feeds on the dreams of an unwary sleeper, dragging the victims into eternal slumber. Very nice. And we have a Mask of the Accursed, a super rare right off the bat. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice start. We got a super rare. We will take that. Very cool. Okay, so we're leading up to those ultra rares. We got a Miracle Dig, Lightning Conger, Dancing Fairy, and the Worm Drake. Those old school cards are awesome. Next burst of Destiny. I'm super excited about the Chaos Impact opening Monday. I think it's going to be really fun. So you guys should come if you are able to be there for the live stream on YouTube. Hopefully, we'll get that Masquerina. What will we get here? We got the, ooh, the Chinging, the Sword Soul Synchro. He's actually pretty decent. I think that's a good pull. Next burst pack. So far, we've got two Ultras, no secrets. Uh, obviously, no Starlights. We will go crazy if we pull a Starlight. DD Assault Carry. We've got the Mimicking Man Eater Bug. We've got the Magic Key Transfer Lamine. Okay. Not too amazing there, but we've got oh, many more packs to go. 24 total in the box. I think we've opened about a quarter of it. Break of Destiny, Heritage of Light, Flip Frozen. And the heavy interlock, another super rare. There's a super rare in every in every pack in these new sets, as you guys, most of you guys know, I think. Uh, not like the old school anymore when there was, uh, you know, just rares, no or, rare or super rare, you know, rare or foil, I should say. Heritage of Light, Flip Frozen, Supernatural Danger Zone. Look at the Gookin Sunship. All right, keep going, keep going. We will get to the next Labyrinth of Nightmare pack soon, but I want to pull some fire out of here. Can we get Destroy Phoenix Enforcer? That would be pretty awesome. Magical Cylinders, Gookin Sunship. And the Bayonet Punisher, another super. All right. Let's go into our second Labyrinth of Nightmare first edition pack. Can we pull something big? We have the Saint Joan, Empress Mantis, Spirit of Flames, Gerudo the Wind Spirit. And here we go. Will this be the card? 
Fire Princess. Centering is a little bit off on this lady, but not too bad. And that reminds me, we di I did send in some cards to PSA for a PSA return video soon. So we should have one of those coming in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Fire Princess off center, but very cool card. I do like that one. We got the deal of Phantom, Flying Fish, Crimson Sentry, and Miracle Dig. Theoretically, we should have two Ultras in these last three. We will see if that is the case. If we had a one secret two Ultra box, which is usually the case. Penguin. Cyanet Crosswipe, Giant Starfall, Sword Soul Assessment, Flowing Dorees in the Dreaming Town, all right, Brave Driver, and the Fingolin. Yeah, nothing nothing insane so far. I mean, those super rares are nice from LON, but we have not pulled any. Oh, I guess the, uh, the map for ultra rare is actually very good. Let's see about here. The Scary Sea, okay. Wow, the secret rares are really hiding in this box. Can we pull the Destroy Phoenix Enforcer or the Starlight Stratos? I, I'd be okay with that, too. The Ice Jade or any Starlight, honestly. I don't. It could be the worst one. Ooh, the Floundaries and Impen. I don't think this is really the one you're looking for, but Floundaries did get a lot more popular. So maybe this is okay. I'm not sure. All right, our first secret of the box. Next one. Starlight. Come on. Starlight out of one box. Never done that before. Break the destiny. I, ha I usually have to open multiple cases. Add Liptum, which, you know, just makes sense with how rare it is. But just consider yourself lucky. If you've opened one box and got a Starlight, you did very, very well. Magic key battle, we got the Abyss Keeper, we got the Penguin Squire, Mimicking Man Eater Bug, the Mouse Click. Alright, Mouse Click, okay. Let's go to another Labyrinth of Nightmare. First edition. Can we finally get an ultra rare out of these five packs? Let's do this. We have the Fushion Gate. Mariokuta. The Portrait Secret. That guy is so creepy. A portrait cursed by the artist, and it is said to bring ill fortune to anyone who owns it. I mean, why would you want to own that? Obviously, I mean, just walking around at night, you had to go to the bathroom, you walk by this thing, that's ill fortune to me. Like, that's scary enough. The Dark Door, okay. And this kind of looks like the portrait, honestly. And... Oh, Royal Command! Okay, probably not the Ultra we're looking for. The centering is... Oh, my, that is really bad. The, the name seems like it's a little bit pushed to the left as well, but... All right, that's an interesting one, Royal Command. Why does this, like... It looks super thick. Like, even for being off-centered, it looks very odd. I don't know why. Okay, an Ultra Rare. All right, we'll take it. We got a Flame Dancer, Fire Sorcerer, the Curse of the Mass Beast, and the Bio Mage. Okay, that was definitely not what we were looking for in terms of the Ultras, but let's see what else we can pull here. Rebuilder, Kotal, Sushi Ship. Night flight. Flow under ease and snow. So it looks like this is a flow under ease pack. Yeah, I think this one's definitely worse than the, the impen. But you know, that's two two secrets. You know, I guess we got our ratio. Can't really complain. Let's see if there's anything else in this box. Hopefully. I think the map, honestly, is like more expensive than those secret rares. We'll see. I'm not really sure though. I haven't checked the prices in a little bit. Ooh, Ultra Beach Trooper, Absolute Heracles. Ah, yeah, this one's not good. I think those other ones were better. Still a lot of packs, so maybe we can hope for the infamous three secret box. That would be pretty nice. We'll take that. Cyanet Cascade, Magic Key Battle, Sonic Tracker, Night Flight. Flounderies and Eglin. We are this is the Flounderies box for sure. Okay. Rebuild Deer. Kotal. Sushi ship. Night Flight. Magic Key Spirit of Apartu. All right, Apartu. We will take that. Let's keep going. We still have two more heavy Labyrinth of Nightmare packs, so hopefully those will be absolute fire. Abyss Keeper, Penguin Squire, Mimic King, Man Eater Bug, the Rocket Caliber. I don't really even remember this card. We opened a lot of the set, and I don't remember this card, so I'm guessing it's not fantastic, but we will take it. Next heavy pack, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Been all right to us. I mean, we pulled some all right stuff. Definitely not bad cards, but we are looking for a little bit better. Let's see if we can improve right here. Dark Necro Fear. Lady of Sail and Flames. We got the Dragonic Attack. Spherous Lady. Shining Abyss. And. Oh! And it was the Dark Necro Fear! Okay! The centering uh, from side to side is not bad, but top to bottom is pretty bad. This is what I always see the Dark Necro Fears looking like. I already have a PSA 10 anyway, so I'm still really happy about this. Also, I have one of these for sale on TCG Player. I just remembered that, that I got out of a collection. It was actually pretty minty, so now you know, maybe I'll just take that down and have two of them. That's pretty cool. That is a big pull. Dark Necro Fear is one of the best cards in Labyrinth of Nightmare, so that is an awesome one. We got Magic Cylinder speaking to Labyrinth of Nightmare. Sword Soul Assessment. We got the Cyanite Cascade. We got the Branded in Red. That is awesome. We got the Necrofear. So that was totally worth the opening. Necrofear is a pretty big card. And it's classic. It's super scary. We got to check the artwork out after this. Heritage of Light. Flip Frozen. Cyanite Crosswipe. We got the Flunderies of Unexplored Winds. Yeah, let's just take a quick look at this. Just look at that. Holding a baby, a baby doll with a hole in its head, which is very creepy, but very awesome. 
All right, we got a few more packs of Burst of Destiny. Then we will go into the final LON Labyrinth of Nightmare. Build, the Rebuild the Year has returned again. The Rabina, we are pulling an entire Flo Underese deck right here, basically. Two more packs. Burst of Destiny, once again, shout out to... Um, double Distributor Drag... We got the... Sh Oh yeah, so what am, what am I saying? Shout out to Maniac Packs for sending us this box and the box for the giveaway. So make sure you guys uh, you know go check them out if you're interested in getting some stuff. Magic Key Battle, Sonic Tracker, Night Flight, Magic Key Spirit Vipartu, cool. And the final pack of the video. Make sure to enter the giveaway for the Synchro Storm Booster Box. Here we go. I'm super excited about Chaos Impact on Monday, guys. Make sure you guys come hang out for the live stream. We have Earthbound Spirit, Final Heavy Pack. They've all been heavy so far, which is nice. Grave Robber's Retribution, like they're supposed to be, but sometimes they're not. You know what I mean? Gadget Soldier. We've got the Fairy Guardian. Oh, and a Defusion. Okay, that's a pretty good one. The Centering is actually much better on this one compared to all the other ones, so that is not bad at all. We will definitely take a nice Defusion. Looks really cool, at least. We've got the Spirit Elimination, Hysteric Fairy, Cyclone Laser, and Headless Knight. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe for more epic old school content because we'll be doing more on the channel in the future. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duelist Kingdom Cards, and Spanky McFarlane. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.